Hey, what's up everyone? Ultimate Atomic HD here, and today I'm continuing the Let's Play Persona 5 Royale for the PS4. At this moment, Persona 5 Royale has, been, has become the single longest Let's Play on the entire channel, with 52 plus episodes. It beat out the original Heroes of Might and Magic 5, which was my first Let's Play on the channel. However, now it remains a question, will it beat the entire Heroes of Might and Magic 5 package? Like, the original Tribes of the East and Hammers of Fate. I mixed up the order there a bit. Uh, but yeah, that'll be... It has to be longer than 86 episodes if it wants to beat that. We'll just have to wait and see. And yeah, we have a couple of days of free time. And now we're going to go to the arcade to hang out with Shinya because he's the only confidant that we can hang out during the daytime now because we're locked out with Futaba thanks to a Mementos request being in an area I can't uh, I can't access yet. Well, I can I, I will be able to access it the next time I go in the in the Mementos. We have to just wait for Okumura's heart to change. And uh, Haru is not yet available to be recruited, so yeah, we all, we have to hang out with Shinya, whether we like it or not. Ah, uh, they are a bit tied up at the moment. Not not the greatest, uh, not the greatest time to be a Phantom Thief. All right, for Shinya, this will be rank four. Yeah, this is basically uh, what we would call a YouTuber in our universe, or a Twitch streamer, whatever. And he's challenging, and he's challenging the king to a duel. Let's see how it goes. God, the typical anime pose where. He covers a portion of his face. And yeah, the king is getting destroyed, just like the crowd says. What could be happening? And so they played on and on and on. Ten losses in a row, wow! That's a bit harsh. You tell him gives points. Aw, oh, come on, I only have one response and no follow-up, and... Yeah, I need to hear a sparkly sound. And yeah, after I record this video, I will be fully caught up with my schedule and... Get Your Revenge gives points. Yes! There we go. Sorry for skipping that. And yeah. I'll be caught up with my schedule and I'll return to my usual schedule. Sorry. Of one video per day. Until, of course, the Let's Play is done. There we go. Rank 4. Kindness, which I do not need. Alright. EY, you better be up and about. You're closer to being maxed out than Hifumi. And I want to max out EY in, the, in these two days. Because on the 17th on Monday, uh, we'll be having... Okay, Hifumi is available, if anything. We'll be having our exams, and those are actually the semi-final exams we'll have, uh, yeah, in the game, so... I guess... I guess there is some merit there. There we go, EY is available. Let's go to the airsoft shop.
I want to work. Let's hang out with Emma. Are you sure he's still alive? Gives points. Yeah. Gives the most points. Ooh, this is a lengthy one. Yellow. Huh? What's happening? There we go. You know, Eva is serious when he starts cursing all the time. Yeah, Masa is the guy that we went on under uh, that we went to eavesdrop on for EY's rank 2 uh, kind of socialization session. Yeah, which was way way back even after the Kamoshida arc. None of these gift points. None of the responses give points until we get to the very, to the semi-final response, and we still have the follow-up. Yeah, basically that Masa guy kidnapped Kaoru. Hey. Alright, the next response is the semi-final response, and yeah, we still haven't heard sparkly sounds. Yes, uh, both of these give points. Still no sparkly sound. And you'll never guess who will come to the rescue. And basically now EY tells the truth about Kaoru's parents and how his mother actually wanted to sell him out. I mean, not not just not sell him out per se, but literally sell him to buy more drugs. Selling out is basically betraying somebody. That's not what happened here. Kaoru took the truth like a man. He truly is. And there we go, the cavalry's here. From no one else but Tsuda. After he had a change of heart, he decided to become the mobster of justice. Yo. And 
There we go. This crisis is over at last. Uh, wait, 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 wait. The first and the third one give the most points. Yes, sparkly sound. I no longer need the response list for EY because he'll be ranking up regardless next time I meet. Appreciate it. This is rank 9 with EY. There we go. second one give points. Nice. Alright, now I can get rid of the hanged man persona I have. And yeah. What's with the connecting to the network message? All right, let's see what we do today on Sunday. I really hope that EY is available this evening so I can max him out. I no longer have to worry about him. But if only I have Chihaya and Hifumi on my plate. who should be in pain right now, yet she's still trying to cheer us up. That's the kind of role model people need nowadays. Well then. I really aim to be that kind of role model whenever I can. Okay. I can't proceed, proceed with Futaba, I can start off Haru, I can go with Shinya. Alright, the twins! Let's see what what will the twins say. The twins no, are not available. Great. Uh, I need, don't need Huapo anymore. Uh, you know what? Welcome. I'll buy everything. I have money to spend, so why not? Yeah, why not? There are some books in Shinjuku also I can get. Wait, 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 wait. I thought... I thought they could appear on different locations and... Yeah. Oh, I have everything. Yeah, that should be enough reading reserves for me. Okay, so the twins are not available and I can't start off Haru and I'm locked out with Futaba. Yeah, I really need to go to Mementos then in that uh, in that case. Okay. It's kind of a bummer since I only have two requests, including Futaba's. Let's view requests. Wait, I'm already... Oh, wait. I can't go over any new targets while Haru is absent. What else can I do then? Can I still go to Mementos regardless? <laughs> Why? You are a cruel game. Very cruel. Anything interesting you have? What would you like? Uh, 
There we go. Oh, we still have access to... Where are you? Yeah, this. This place also sells books. However, this one is a bit finicky. Oh, here's the same guy that runs the shop in Yongen. The second hand shop. And yeah, you can only buy books here after you read the one you bought previously. So I can't get any other books before I read Master Swordsman. And yeah, these books are the longest in terms of uh, how many chapters there are. Okay, so that was that place where I could get books. There aren't any here. Uh, I can't go to school because it's Sunday. Damn it, what can I do? Anything I can do here? Well, I can go, go to the jazz club is only at night. The temple, yeah, I can go there, but was the point. Well, I have not displayed billiards yet. I'm, do I'm done with the with darts with everyone. Damn it, I don't know what to do. I really want to go with the twins. Arcade, Big Bang Burger. Yeah, let's go play darts. No, not darts, billiards, yeah. Welcome! What do you play? Let's play billiards! Hmm. What do you want to do? Thank you! Let's see who my gang will be for this. That do it. Oh, everyone! It's probably it'll probably be with Haru as well if it wasn't this part of the story. Not bad. Yeah. Playing billiards raises a random social stat. I get knowledge. That was so fun. Expert billiards. A specialty shop. Yeah, in my original run, I actually failed to locate this book, and I tr and I searched very thoroughly until the very end of the game. If any of you know where this book can be bought, please let me know in the comments below. So maybe I'll buy it even. Ah, you're back. Uh, tomorrow our exams is gonna eat up three valuable days. Haru, I'm not surprised she seems down. You should keep her in your thoughts. Still, despite how she looks, Haru has quite the backbone. I'm sure she'll be okay. Okay. Yeah, EY's available! Um, let's see if I have any books that can be auto-read. Knowledge, Charm... Uh, I think these two can be auto-read. Ooh, Planetarium. This one discovers a Planetarium. This one discovers the... You know what, I'm actually gonna save here, 
and auto read all the books. And I'll edit this out. Okay, I actually auto read only one uh, book which informs you about Booktown where Hifumi takes you. And I'll do the rest while I'm not recording so I don't waste any time. Because I have, I have to skip a lot of stories based sequences and yeah, tomorrow are the exams so it really uh, drags on and on. But uh, yeah. I'm gonna go to the airsoft shop and finish up with EY. Yeah, I wanna work. Of course I'm free. Let's finish this. And yeah, one book actually discovers the aquarium, which is actually the next. Uh, which is actually the next destination you're supposed to go to with the twins, and I think I'll have to read that before. Uh, doing that. You're still droning on about that? I mean, it was quite a shock. But that's what made you take me in, right? So who cares? Well there, kiddo. If you had just told me all this sooner, you wouldn't have been threatened. Who your parents are and where you come from stays with you for your entire life. Thanks to my loser parents, I got bullied by complete strangers and... My father isn't a loser, though. He's a brilliant business owner. <sighs> it's up to you now, EY. Shut up. I know that. Uh, so in the end, I was just fighting my own demons. Stuck in my crappy childhood and all the problems I had growing up. My view of Kaoru was all distorted because of my rotten childhood memories. I forgive you. Wow, you really matured, huh? Why did you help my father out? He told me you gathered info about Sudasan for him. You willingly got involved in a Yakuza dispute. Would someone normally take that big of a risk? I couldn't leave him. Hmm. I'd understand if you were a member of the Phantom Thieves. Fighting for the underdogs, like a gentleman thief. You know, people have their own opinions, but... I think the Phantom Thieves are super cool. I mean, Thank you. Your words of encouragement really helped me this time. You gotta go, Kaoru. The supermarket's about to close. Aren't you in charge of dinner tonight? Ah, oh, crap! Uh, please excuse me! <laughs> Kids grow up quick. They can be a pain in the ass, but <laughs> they're worth it. Alright, let's close up shop. Go pull down the shutter. Suda changed rather suddenly, huh? Seems like he had a change of heart. Just like them people they've been talking about on TV. I can't be the only one who was saved by his change of heart. Wonder who else knows. It's a coincidence. <laughs> if you say so. Well, don't worry. It ain't really none of my concern. Man, you really had me fooled. That whole thing about being an enthusiast was all just BS. I hired you as a mere pawn, and now you're Kaoru's bro. The Phantom Thieves are using my guns to take down bad guys, aren't they? I'm sure there are. People in need, huh? <laughs> Interesting. All right, I'm gonna put all my effort into that special menu we talked about. All right, you do that. Nobody, nothing, so I'll do my best for you because that's the kind of support I can provide. Thank you. And there we go. I am thou. Thou art I. Another confidant thou maxed out. Turned a vow into a blood oath. Thy bond shall become the wings of rebellion and break the yoke of thy heart. Thou hast awakened to the ultimate secret of the hanged man, granting thee infinite power. Rank 10. Allows you to customize your guns for free, which is very nice. But what the hell are you gonna do with a model gun? You need a real gun in a shootout, and the knives are just replicas. They're even less useful than a butter knife, you know? <laughs> You're such a weirdo. Yeah, we have our uses. Alright, so I basically have to worry about three confidants in the evening. 
Hifumi, Chihaya, and Akechi. Akechi, yeah, story of his own. And Chihaya and Hifumi are, uh, yeah, the thing, kind of thing I have to regulate. Hifumi is, I'm well fine with Hifumi, while Chihaya is very low in terms of confidant progression. She's still at rank 3. So I need to get rid of that empty walk segment with Hifumi and finish her off quickly so I can turn my attention to Chihaya. In terms of daytime confidence, well I only have three. Futaba, Haru and Shinya. And when I get to the third trimester it's only going to be Kasumi. Yeah, you can also do the all the other confidants in the third trimester, but I highly advise that you uh, that you finish up these confidants uh, in the base game because you really don't have that much time available to you in the third trimester because there are you have the entire uh, the entire January and a few days of February available. But it's mostly story sequences and of course going to mementos and the palaces. And if you need to prioritize a certain type of confidence, let it be teammate confidence because uh, you will get some special events with them if you manage to uh, do that. I'll now be handing out your exam booklets. Oh boy, it's time for the exams. I need to get my cheat booklets ready then. Uh, test answers. No, not confident guide. Not confident guide for EY. I want test answers. Come on, yeah, yeah, I'll do it. This is from October 17th to 19th, the answer is right. Yep. 32 surfaces. It used to be one color. Black and white picture. There we go. That's that exam exam done, and we have and we now have four answers remaining. God, I hate these exams. Why couldn't they just given us a, at least an evening time slot to relish in if the daytime is supposed to be cramped with exams? You know they're murderers, right? That doesn't mean that criminals should be left to do whatever they want. Still. Couldn't they have at least left the principal to the police? And I mean, did you see that press conference? No way allies of justice would do that. I wonder if Akechi kun has been right all along. He's so... Well, allies of justice, the archetype, are dark attributes, so they could theoretically do that. You don't quiet down. I'll have to ask you to leave. Now, everyone... Charles Henry Sanson. Uh, the second one. And two more answers remain. The 19th. Oh, that's actually the semi final day of the exam because the final day is determined by your knowledge stat, and I, I hope we get the 21st free. Killed our principal. Isn't this insane? There are murderers among us. Now <laughs> among us, the game, the the game that's been going around. I still have no idea what it's about. I still haven't watched any of the footage or trailers or what have you. I snapped a pic, so I should probably put it on. I know what Fall Guys is about because I watched uh, some Call Me Johnny's review of it, and if it wasn't for that video, I probably wouldn't. Uh, would be the same situation for. Uh, among Let's Us. Uh, slave labor. Ooh, we can do this. Three B's in all of Europe is the answer. Ooh, and there we go! I 
don't need this cheat booklet anymore. Hmm. Mr. Ushimaru's class. Well, not technically since uh, the Japanese uh, tests are conducted the same way as the final grand final tests of high school in our country are done. Basically a teacher that does not teach the subject uh, you're writing is watching over you so it minimizes uh, teachers helping other students and all that. Okay, Futawa wants to see us. It's lunchtime. Oh, Maruki. It's open. <coughs> it's Haru. It'll be her counseling session today. That only leaves Yusuke, the one who hasn't received counseling. Oh, this music makes me want to dance already. Excuse me? <laughs> you have my thanks. Awkward silence. talking much because I am focusing on uh, dancing to this beautiful tune. I see. I think Yusuke's uh, counseling session will be on the day that Maruki leaves and on the same day you'll actually rank up Maruki to rank 10. After school, uh, it's a story sequence. I can spell it. I suppose plants do need watering after all. Oh, I know. You should go help Haru. I'll let the others know. Oh, yeah. Story sequence. Uh, how troubling. What's wrong? Hello. Oh, you didn't see me there. Come up here to assist me. You um. Heard that, didn't you? I'm not worried about the garden, in case you were wondering. It's just so much has happened to me lately. Anyway, I can help. Uh, well, perhaps I could share this with you. I mean, it would be nice to have someone who is aware of my current situation in life. The source of my worries is my father's company. Dealing with the aftermath has been difficult. Given how unexpected the accident was, my father didn't have a will. All of his stocks transferred to me. Which means suddenly, I'm the biggest shareholder in a company of over 1,000 employees. Yeah, that's, that's a very, I want to say, lucky turn, but if, his fa if her father died a sort of a, sort of a normal way, I guess I could call it that, but yeah, it's, I'm gonna remain neutral, yeah, let's just inquire if she's gonna be okay. Um, sorry, I didn't mean to worry you, it's just, I know I'm the president's daughter, but I never thought I'd actually end up involved in company business. I never thought we'd actually be blamed as responsible for killing a guy. They've been giving me advice on all the things I'm not entirely sure about. Assets, stocks... It's clear...
clear some people only want to get on my good side, though. I don't know who I can trust. They try to sound comforting by saying things like, don't worry, or leave it to me. But it feels like they're really only being nice so they can get their hands on my bank account. I... I never realized I could be this distrustful of other people. Yeah, that can be very uh, ominous. I'm sorry for ranting on about this matter. I feel as though doing so has helped me calm down a bit, though. The only people I've consulted up to this point have been employees. But I think what I really needed was someone closer to my own age. Closer to my own viewpoint. Hmm. I'm glad I could provide, then. If it isn't too much trouble, could we speak about this again some other time? Of course. In return, I'll... Hmm. What can I do to help you? I don't have any unique talents. How about this? You know, gardening. I'm actually quite skilled at it. A few years ago, I even managed to grow a tropical fruit on the balcony at my house. To be honest, this is what I do when I'm alone. To take my mind off of everything that's happened. <sighs> oh, that's right. I stored some vegetables in the refrigerator down in the home economics room. You still have some time, yes? Would you mind waiting here a moment? Okay, I'll wait. I grew these right here in these very planters and harvested them myself not too long ago. There's not much consistency to their colors or shapes, but... Yeah, I want to try them. They're SP restoring item. <laughs> and yeah, I'm actually a bit low on them, in fact. To tell the truth, I have a favor to ask of you. I have four somas, but I do not want to waste somas because they restore health and SP to... I'm not sure if it's all uh, teammates or just one. That's a great idea. Thank you. I'm sure Sakura-san will give me his honest opinion. I'll make sure this next harvest is particularly good. Well then, shall we head over to the hideout? Wait, is this the moment I get to recruit Haru? Or oh no, it's not. On surviving midterms. <sighs> I think I'm screwed for real this time. I couldn't concentrate at all. Again? It's so damn loud. That's what politicians are. What's this you want to talk about? You said that something was on your mind before, but were you able to figure out what it was? The Medjet that I banned wasn't the real one. What? Aren't you the real one, though? Oh, uh... The guy who called himself Medjet after me isn't the one from the other day. What do you mean? The code written by that guy the other day is different from any of the past Medjet. And that means... A code is like your fingerprints. No matter how you try to disguise it, your own quirks appear in it. The one from the other day was all cut and pasted with no consistency. No skill at all. But aren't there multiple people across the world that are part of Medjet? Couldn't it have been done by someone that joined recently? How do I put it? That code was so not done by anyone interested in cracking. At all. At the very least, there's no way it was an official Medjet member. So, so all the more proof that we were set up. The Phantom Thieves? For what purpose? Could they have been doing it for fun? It was around the time our group started getting popular, so maybe they wanted in on the hype. Wait a moment. What if it's the other way around? Hmm? Perhaps they use the Medjed name to make the Phantom Thieves known. What? That makes no sense! I actually thought the same as Makoto. Why is that? Know how I just said that code is like fingerprints? I found those same fingerprints somewhere completely different. Where's that? The Phantom Aficionado website. There were traces of it being illegally tampered with from the outside. Um... For real? Before summer vacation, the access counter was made to be much higher than the actual number. Same with the rankings. 
particularly the time when President Okumura ranked first. So yeah, they hacked so the site to make the Okumura the favorite. Tampered with the site are the same person? I think I'm starting to see the big picture. Both Medjet's provocation and the tampering of the website brought attention to us as a result. On top of that, our reason for targeting Okumura was influenced by the public and the rankings. The perfect timing and the perfect target. If both of those had been set up... It would all make sense. So the culprit was planning to put the blame on us from the start? No way! That's this just evil and cruel. We lack any hard evidence. But if all your deductions happen to be correct, that would mean we've been playing right into their hand for the past two months or so. We gotta be overthinking things. I mean, we're talking both the rankings and Medjet. Everyone made a big deal about it. If this was all set up, then what kind of guy did we make an enemy of? A big guy. But we'll take care of him soon enough. Regardless, we'll be falsely charged at this rate, and with murder. We must overcome this. But we don't even know who we're up against. Hey, you think we're falling into another trap, even at this very moment? We don't know yet. All we can do now is be calm about this. It's our only saving grace. Stepping to conclusions and assuming we figured it out. Even if this is the actions of a meticulous enemy, we'll just have to get back at them. We need to find clues, no matter what. Agreed. Alright, it's evening and do we do something? Me? I was told Hello you there, you sleazy yourself, so old bastard. Why did you choose someone as inexperienced as myself? When the case of the Shujin Principle was ruled a suicide, you thought to reopen it, and you proved its connection to the Phantom Thieves. This is based primarily on that achievement. I'm on and... The Phantom Thieves issue is now a national crisis. And it's yeah, if you're wondering, the SIU director also plans to set up Nijima. Sai Nijima. Justice. Personnel and planning will be up to you on this case. You will also have the police under your command. I'd like you to oversee this operation. <sighs> You've yet to give an answer. Will you accept the task of eradicating the Phantom Thieves? I will give it everything I have. We'll have to prepare a higher position for you as well in the event that you succeed. I don't wish to apply extra pressure on you. But I assume your odds of success are high. Naturally, failure to accomplish this task is unacceptable. Do you understand? Of course. I will live up to your expectations no matter what it takes. That is all, then. I expect good results from you. Alright. I'm home. Hi, sis. Should I warm up dinner for you? No, it's okay. How about a bath? No need. I just came home to get a change of clothes. Are you going to stay at work then? I've been entrusted with a very important task. You look awful though. Aren't you tired? As an adult, there will be times when you will accept an assignment for which failure is not tolerated. It's all over for me if I can't win this. Still, if you were to collapse from exhaustion... This is my one chance to get a promotion. I heard detectives have been coming to your school. That must make it hard to focus on your studies. Don't worry, though. <sighs> Would you please drop this. it with the studies bullshit? What do you mean? I'm going to catch the Phantom Thieves myself. No, you're not. Is that the important task you mentioned? It's none of your concern. Oh my god, Sis has her sights set on the Phantom Thieves, and on Shujin Academy in particular. <sighs> this is bad. I need to let everyone know. Uh, 
Alright, text messages, read them on your own. God damn, that's a long chat. Everything's going to be fine. Unless they know about the metaverse, there's no way they'll get any info on us. Yeah. Morgana's making sense. At least once. I go outside. Hey. Of course I can't. Kawakami? No. Alright, I think I'm gonna end this episode off here because... Yeah, a lot of story sequences are gonna come jumping in and I'd like to end it off here. And I'm gonna read, auto-read the rest of the books uh, that, I, that I said I was gonna do. And yeah. Uh, things are getting interesting, to say the least, so yeah. Thank you all so much for watching, stay tuned for, for more great workers and updates, comment, like, and subscribe, and as usual, I'll pull the next part whenever I can. Be sure to check out my Patreon when you got the time, maybe drop a few donations if you feel like it, and as usual, see you all and have a good day, peace.